Hi everyone. Yes. Yes. The meeting is recorded and it is available for uh, public view. Um, so welcome. Uh, somebody make a motion to uh, accept the. Uh, I make a motion that we accept the uh, last month's meeting minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Pass unanimously. Okay. Report from health inspector, but I didn't know. No, let's do yeah. that. Okay, so we're going to hold off for a second. We have a report from the nurse. Marcy is not right able here. to come tonight. Um, so should we go right to uh, our hearing? Yes. And then. Um, is it posted for 6.30? What's that? Was your hearing posted for 6.30? Yes, this meeting is closed. Yeah. This is yes. and you're on. Okay. Yes. And uh, that way uh, you don't have to hang around. Or right. then yeah. you have further business afterwards. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So usually I'll just head off what happened and yeah. then jump in. Right? So uh, on November 18th, uh, a, uh, a youth entered the Lucas 44 location at 9 uh, Campus Plaza in Hadley and purchased a pack of, uh, of cigarettes. Uh, and there was an inspector with the tobacco control um, agency who uh, was conducting that inspection uh, and informed us of it. Um, let's see, two days later, I believe, and we issued a, um, a tobacco violation order and fine to Liquors 44. Uh, and uh, so at the time that that was received, um, we had a request for a hearing from Andrew. Um, so that he can be heard in relation to it, and uh, that is the story up to now. Okay. So, so what is your full name? Andrew Morrison. Okay. Uh, Thank you. I'm the owner of Chris 44. Uh, I'm not denying it. But I went back, looked at the video, saw that the guy did it. Um, it's not what Chris 44 is about. For years, we've always been consistent in terms of being one of the harsher places to get served, uh, but we're only as good as the employees we hire, lately hire, employees been tough. They're, I don't want to be mean, but their focus isn't there. They're on their phones and you know, this and that. And you watch the guy, three customers before this one, he's part of the person, like two after, he's part of the person, he didn't part of the person at this time. Uh, I've been with Liquors 44, 36 years now, even before we opened my home set up. Owned it for 24. This is the first time I've been in for a board, whether it's a licensing for the liquor or for the health. Sure. So it's embarrassing for me as a resident and as a business owner to be doing this. Uh, spoke to Ben the day, you know, Monday the day I got the certified letter. I had already called our software people to come up with a software once you scan your tobacco or alcohol, it's going to prompt you. You can't go any further. Um, so they did do that. And I have pictures of what this is put together. Uh, but it, it'll show you. That's the first prompt you get. It'll show you to put oh, uh, yeah. their age in. Mm -hmm. um, but you can't go any farther. Now, there is one way to go around it. A person like myself with gray hair comes in, <laughs> you can say, all oh, right, he's over 35. But we told the employees, we got to sign the papers, get off your phone, number one, yeah. pay attention to this, number two. Um, and not to be over bypassing this. So we spoke to them about that. Um, I could tell you, this is just since yeah. the beginning of the semester, the number. Yeah. So we don't take card lightly. And yeah. these are fake IDs we've got since September. We work with the, the company that does our ID machines. They have the, uh, Those are fake IDs. Yeah. These are all fake yeah. Yeah. The, the other primary yeah. local liquor store in town also has a large wow. collection. So then since September, we give them all to this company that works with the uh, Homeland Security. Yeah. So I could have brought more, but yeah. every time they have come out with this area, we give them. Uh, so they update their monthly, we're getting updates of different fake IDs. Last month we had a main one. If you put it in backwards in the machine, it said it was valid. If you put it in the right way, it wasn't valid. 
So they came in and fixed all those, but they do it for all machines. Uh, so what I'm saying is we're very strict. One employee just had a reputation for 36 years. Uh, what I'm asking the board is could I get off with a warning? I would have had my manager here. His daughter was recital. My daughter was assistant manager. I a sick kid at home. But I've been forced with them playing around with the phones. Um, where I'm what, what, what are the rules? Yeah, what are our so in the code, there there is um, what what he was fined with was the first offense, which is one thousand dollars, and it is required in the code for that part. The other that he was uh, the other part of it was a one day suspension. The board does have the ability to go from zero to uh, thirty days. At the time, um, I had decided one day. However, the board is well within their rights to decide that one day is too much in this case, and zero is is fine. So that one we can certainly Legally, have. Legally, we don't have any wiggle room on the, uh, on the fine. Right. Okay. Because the, the operation is not done by us having. No, it's just by the consumer, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I would recommend that we decrease the suspension to zero. Yeah. Uh, and if we have the power, I would certainly recommend put to a vote that we. Uh, believe the, the fine, but I, or I, I don't believe that we're allowed to do that. Right. Is that something that is agreed upon? That fine is that? I think it's a Massachusetts statute. It's a statement. This is not a Hadley. Okay, I just wasn't yeah. sure. It's a great question. Because the coalition's out of South Hadley, right? The kind of out of South Hadley, right? Okay. South Hadley and Hampton. So between Sharon Hart and Great Park. Yeah. Um, I mean, what I want to say is, like, we, in, in the time that I've been on the board, I, I've i never heard of this coming forward with your institution business. You do a such a high volume of sales in this area, and we have such a high population of, of college students seeking, unfortunately, to drink their age, um, that knowing that, that overall, like, you're your business is a really wonderful job of keeping you know, our your community safe. And, and absolutely. Yeah. And you know, that's same in my professional environment too. That we're only as good as our employees are hundred percent of the time, right? Um, but really appreciate you coming tonight and speaking on the happy for twenty four and and I think thank you the software change just for you first. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. for me it sounds like you had a really responsible response to this in terms of doing that one-on-one -on -one education with your staff, doing a redesign for understanding policy and procedure. Um, this advance of like this, the software I think is great. Um, but the thousand for the software, it's close. <laughs> I, you know, clearly if we could, we would be no, I just, yeah. 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 But yeah. Your actions, but our hands are Five, it's just another way for us to make feet. sure these people are awake right. because unfortunately they don't care. They're yeah. just there for the money. Yeah. If they got a heart in it or blood in the water, yeah. 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 it would be different. But yeah. They just they want the money to well, yeah. hurt it. So, but we apologize. I don't want to be here. Yeah. I don't want to be back for another 36 yeah. years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am um, so, so I made a motion that we uh, But I would just like to say these are not yet. I'm trying to it's okay. very prominent here. Like you say, I'm sure Sean at the other place mm -hmm. is getting just as many. That is pretty that's pretty uh, that's overwhelming. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's like two and a half months. Right. Since September. Yeah. The first week you should get about this many mm -hmm. until they find out that we're yeah. So, I, I make a motion that we suspend uh, uh, the, uh, the suspension right. um, to zero days. I second. Right. All those in favor? Thank you. Thank you for coming. Yes, yes. I I for I'm sorry you had just the wrong person at exactly the wrong time. A thousand, but uh, it's not your fault. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. We're, we're here to support it.
Thank you. Yeah. Right. So right. to you. Uh, it will be going to the town. Uh, and you can call me after and we'll figure out. Thank you. Thank you. Next item on the agenda, a report from the Health Inspector. Okay. Uh, so, let's see, I've got some updates. I'll go through them as fast as I can. Um, so, I'll skip the first one. The second one is the Franklin Regional Council of Government Spur Talk. Um, I've been working with them on a, a shadowing with a uh, perk test, that type of thing. Right. And at the time, uh, they said that they're uh, they're happy to uh, come by if they ever need any assistance. Since we're part of them, they will do inspections for us. They'll oh, do wow. uh, they'll do shadowing here in, in town. Uh, um, that's not their primary thing, but they're happy to do it. So we have that resource that's in our back pocket. Even more of a help that you guys should be aware of is uh, the Hampshire Public Health Shared Services Collaborative, which you guys are quite aware of. They now have hired on two new inspectors. They never had any inspectors before. They had nurses, but oh, they didn't have new. inspectors. Yeah. Um, right. And they, those inspectors are there to assist any of the communities that are under. So uh, I did ask, uh, that there were other communities that said, well, they need them, but they need a little bit of time, that type of thing. Since nobody else needed them immediately, um, they asked if they could, could come over here and do some inspections. I was happy with that, oh, right. so I said, I said, I'll be happy to take those resources, and, and so I'll, I'll be out there with them for a little while and know how, you know, I've done some inspections, just to get in touch with them, and... Uh, this is and all the food inspections. inspections. That's right. However, they are going to be fully trained with uh, Title V that's and all the other yeah. things that I'm trained on. That's everything so, I was hoping for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. shared uh, resources, yeah. So, yeah, so they're, they're going to come by and help us out, I, I really appreciate right. that. Um, let's see, uh, and I think, I, I think at least Susan, you're aware, they're giving us quarterly reports for uh, season, seasonal illnesses and uh, tick corn and all that kind of stuff, so that's fairly new, uh, but, uh, and it was, uh, the first thing rolled out was like yearly, now they're trying to do a quarterly. Wow. So it's been really good, we'll be able to review that uh, quarter, at a quarterly basis. Um, as you know, Susan, uh, we're looking for an intern. Uh, somebody reached out to us, an uh, organization reached out to us that's affiliated with UMass and different colleges in the, in the area uh, that they want to be able to have people that have a degree and is going, mm -hmm. going to master's to, uh, to come out to the local public health and help them. Uh, and the thing that I ask them to do is uh, create a uh, risk assessment for each one of the um, restaurants we have in Hadley. And th these risk assessments will allow you to assign how, based on the risk level right. that they how have, often they how often, how right. often. Yeah. So, right. so, uh, so they'll, this is a perfect project for them because they get to dig into okay. it. Uh, and for us, it's great because we get to do more inspections at the ones that are risky right. and less inspections at the ones that are less likely to get people sick. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're, we don't have that yet, but I've applied and they said it looks like a great uh, thing, so hopefully we'll be able to get it. Huh. Um, let's see, the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control. I, um, we had somebody that reached out to us that has to do with, um, that asked if we want an estimate for targeted mosquito treatment. Uh, so we had a positive this past year, not human, but uh, mosquito. And uh, this thing, so spraying the whole town, for example, higher cost, this would be something that would be small, targeted in that one area that they found the infected mosquito. Again, it's just an estimate, but it's something that's on the horizon, and I want to make sure before it goes away. Well, the, the, what is it? my understanding, I, maybe I'm wrong, yeah. but you said so that he was asking if we want additional testing. No, he said that there were little briquettes that they can put in the, um, uh, in the drainage ways, that type of thing, or anywhere that's around the vicinity of the positive. Right, but that we would be charged for. Yes, that's right, that's right. Um, so he's so giving us an estimate. Right, so. he said I can do more focused testing but the town would have to pay for it. Is I, there a way that you can share that? Yep. So we can do a review and then maybe more discussion at the next meeting. You know, at the next meeting. Yeah. When we all have to get a little bit of that. I yeah. think what I like is I don't really understand. This is the, he works for the mosquito control. Yes, Pioneer Valley. But, but Pioneer Valley is in control. He pays him now. We are part of that and we pay. Just right and we, right. We pay. So, so this is what he said. If you want more testing done, yeah, I just I would like to be able to review it. Okay, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, once you get this estimate to us, I can set it up. Yeah, yeah. 
Because also there is the, the, the changes that are happening in terms of mosquito control with the state um, and not no longer really being able to opt out right. and stuff like that. So I just like to learn more about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's good. Um, next thing is there's a budget proposal that is needed uh, by uh, January 5th. Um, so Peter and I will work on it. Um, I, and I, uh, I, I think you're gonna handle the de some of the details around that, so I'm not gonna step on your toes as far as that. So. Um, next thing is there are two goals that we need to work on, and, and um, uh, so I want to just make sure that the board is aware they're still in my um, uh, brain. Yeah, they're still in my brain. One of them <laughs> is uh, abandoned houses in Hadley. Mm -hmm. I've reached out to our legal counsel just to see, okay, we want to make sure we, if we're going to do this, but we do it right, we do it legally, and every, all the steps are taken. Uh, they've been slow to get back to me. I've reached out a few times. It's probably not at the top of their priority list, okay. so I'm just going to try to keep, uh, but okay. not, I don't want to do anything until they give feedback, no, all right? Okay. But it's still on the list. Uh, the next thing is private wells. Again, the goal was pass it 2024, so uh, I have distributed it to the departments that need to have it, and I've asked for feedback. So I'm going to lean on them a little bit more, try to get that feedback so we get uh, approved sometime in 2024. Oh, okay. sorry, I missed the very beginning. So Pri private wells. Private wells for us to have a local uh, regulation okay. for us. Yeah. So, so asking the board, we had the proposal of what the process would be around private wells. That he's distributed to all the departments that would be involved in. Okay, and he's waiting for feedback. Yeah, and we're taking the model from the state. Mm -hmm. So we're not creating anything completely out of whole cloth. We're, right. we're taking what they recommend to be passed, okay? But we have to make sure everybody's aware of it. It doesn't have to be departments, that type of thing. Okay. Um, so a uh, quick update on the, on the restaurant inspections for this year. Um, we, some of the things that we've done that have, uh, I think, improved the uh, safety in the community related to those are there were a uh, decent amount of places that didn't have proper hand sinks. Mm -hmm. And so uh, all of those places now do have proper hand sinks. People can wash their hands. Uh, whereas before, they would either have to travel very far or they didn't have them at all. They just were using, you know, a sink for other things. Um, three bay sinks, we have uh, everybody that needs a three bay sink to be able to operate does have them now, not impromptu things, not only two bays. Uh, it's common that that gets uh, left behind, but we got people, not many people up uh, to their three bays. Um, and uh, repaired dishwashers, that's something. Last thing is uh, serve safe. I make sure the people that are actually in charge of the location and working there on a daily basis have the serve safe and not just somebody on staff, right. part timer, or something like that. You know, somebody that actually knows, they have to have the knowledge. That's probably one of the biggest things, keeping things safe. So they now know how to operate in a safe manner. Are they going to move the choking too? Choke safe is supposed to be anytime they're open, there's somebody that is there that has that. Right, so yeah, usually it is the top, of, and I know a lot of people back up choke safe that did you know know or you know, there was a turnover and blah 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 blah. blah. So uh, so that's a big one. I didn't put it on my list, but right, that's a really important one. That's a, that's a good one. Thank you. Um, lastly, I went checked uh, today at uh, DPH for um, respiratory illnesses. I just did a quick update for the board. This is Massachusetts wide, not just. Um, Happy, but uh, for acute, uh, it's like uh, the averages for different seasons ahead uh, in the past. So uh, for acute respiratory illness, we're at average right now. COVID-19, below average, doesn't mean it's not everywhere. It just means that compared to the years before, it's below average. Um, flu, we're slightly above average. And RSV, we're decently above average. Yeah. Um, so that's, uh, that's the that's from Mass Department of Health for respiratory illness. And that's all I got. Yeah, I just I just got it today. And it's, what were we for the flu? Flu, we are slightly uh, slightly above. Yeah, that's it for me. I try to do as fast as I can. Thank you, man. Thanks, Pat. You great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I will take this. It'll it'll be in the um, in the office tomorrow. I'll be able to test that kit. All right. The board of health loves your service. I appreciate that. I always feel good getting your getting your approval and your and your support. So thank you guys. This is the place to come. All right. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Have a good night. All right. All right. Um. So talking to the owners, please request for uh, request for increase the special town burial age if that came from $3,500. I think 
Yes. She has not had a, a market okay. increase in, since the entire time I've been on the board. Make a motion. Yeah. So I would like to make a motion to increase the burial agent's stipend from 300 to 500 annually. I'll second it. All those in favor? And then report from Peter. Okay. Okay. okay, so for, let's go back. So for uh, the town clerk to actually implement the increase, you guys need to sign the document. So yep. I don't okay. have to. Oh, good. 
So thank you for keep you posted. Thank you. I appreciate the continued pressure yeah. on that, so we can get a product that'll be. Basically, what's happening is basically the product that we're going to be using is not going to be the product that we're going to be using. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
and kind of um, that NGAR yearly education yesterday, um, and it was really, really great in terms of good farm inspection stuff, also reduced quarantine, um, updates just in terms of um, new things that will be coming out in terms of herd management, with RFID tags that they're projecting for this year or next year, that will come out um, supported by the federal government. So a lot of nerding out in terms of like farm stuff and animal stuff, but um, it was really nice to just interact with other people throughout the state. And, and and our mass department of agriculture. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's it. This is all I did want to say in case anyone did not um, read the policy handbook and sign the document. I brought spare up. Uh, Spare ones to sign, taking it. Mine's all set. Okay, okay. Where did you do I did it online. Oh, I did it on online scan that I think it's sent it. Oh, I, I went in for a visit. <laughs> Here, if you want to file that. Sure. All right, then I think we're all set. We make a motion to adjourn. Okay, we'll set, set our next meeting. Oh, oh I'm sorry. The next meeting will be uh, a month. Uh, second. There anyway, what is the first? Is there anyone who could do it on the fourth? Uh, that would work actually, but I'm going to be blocked. Mm -hmm. Not that you can't do it oh. without me, but I figured it would be. That would work for me because I have a class that starts on Sunday. The fourth instead of the eleventh. Yeah. That would work for me, so I'd like to make a motion for us to change our meeting from January eleventh to January fourth at six thirty. Great. Can you yeah. Peter remind uh, just let that now? Yeah. And I'll tell you. We we have a we have a fiscal calendar in the office. Mm -hmm. It sounds really good. All right, we are done. We're still on. We have to go change.